Welcome to my channel Many Days and in this week's DIY I'm going to be showing you how I made these cushion covers which are Easter inspired or you could say Easter and Valentine's Day inspired. So first of all you're going to need some type of inner. I'm just going to upcycle this old cushion. I'm even just going to leave the old cover on. Now it's just a standard 16 by 16 inch the, the cushion that I'm going to be covering with this gorgeous tick and stripe fabric. You might recognize this off last week's project. I love it so much, I was just dying to make something else with it. <laughs> Regardless of what size your cushion is, all you need to do is add an extra inch to the height and double the width and add an extra eight inches onto that. So my 16 by 16 becomes 17 by 40. I've already cut the width, I'm just trimming the length down to 40 inches. I'll do something with this little scrap of material at the end of this video. <laughs> You know me, waste not, want not. I definitely get that off me mum. So now that you've got your piece of material cut to size, now we're going to fold the ends and iron them flat. So make sure your fabric is face side down and then you're just going to turn it over by just a quarter of an inch and then iron that flat. Once that's ironed, we're going to fold it again three quarters of an inch and then we're going to iron that flat. This will just give you a really nice finished edge where your envelope opening will be. <laughs> Look at the dog. Okay, once you've done that end, you just flip it round and do exactly the same with the other end. So again, you're just gonna turn this quarter of an inch, I'm just guessing this, it doesn't have to be perfect. The quarter of an inch, that's my kind of slightly raggy end. And then three quarters of an inch. You may have noticed I'm actually doing this with my coat on. I've just came in from outside and it is freezing in here. Um, I need to get the fire on. <laughs> And a hot cup of tea. I wanna go out and face the cold, but it's a really good time for a monologue. Can't let this pass, I find it hard. So a straight stitch along the inside fold. Time is up, the bell has rang, and it's really hard to understand. But losing you now is the only choice. Then repeat this on the other end of the fabric. So now both ends are nicely hemmed. When you feel there is time for us, then I'll be by the same old road. Lay your fabric down right side up. Then fold the sides over into a square. Minutes ago, you were still Make sure that the width is 16 inches, the width of your cushion. Then just increase the overlap just to adjust it to make sure it's the right width. Then simply run the sewing machine along the op two open sides. And then that is it. Your cushion cover is now just inside out. <laughs> so you need to just turn it the right way around and make sure you push all of the corners out. So they're nice and pointy. And then all that's left to do is to stuff your pillow inside. This was quite tough to stuff in because I didn't leave a lot on the um, the height, but I wanted it quite firm. I didn't want it really soft and squidgy and going out of shape. If I needed more space, I could have taken the cover off the old one, but this worked fine. So 
I've sketched a picture of a rabbit. This is my Mini Days logo, if you didn't already know that. <laughs> and I'm just cutting it out. So I've just sketched this on the A4 paper, cut it out, and then I've got some Hessian or jute or burlap. I'm not quite sure what the difference is. And I'm just going to lay this on and then go around it with a felt tip pen. As usual, if you want to read more about any of my DIYs or get any free print printables like this rabbit printable, just head over to my blog, minidays.com. Really Next, I cut it out with some sharp scissors. Then I turned it over so you couldn't see the pen lines and decided where I was going to put it. And then I just stippled on some fabric glue. Now this dries clear so you might notice it's a little bit white at first. It took about 20 minutes to dry so in some of the rest of the video you'll see that the white is shown through a bit but like I say it's fabric glue so it does just dry clear. Then finally, I just peeled it off the paper and positioned it where I wanted it. Once you've got it in position, just then press it on for about, you know, 10, 15 seconds and then just leave it to dry. Whilst that was drying, I cut out a little heart out of the stripey fabric just to stick on to a little hessian um, cushion that I made quite a while ago but it's just been sitting looking plain for pretty much a year now so I thought this would just be a nice little way on just having a contrasting cushion to go with the one I've already made. I will leave a link down below to where you can get this tick and stripe fabric from. Instant cuteness. Now back to that strip of fabric that I said I would do something with at the end of the video. I basically just cut a little strip off it and to hide this bit of glue on my rabbit, I always like to tie something around its neck. So I thought I'd just do a little double bow or a double knot I should say to smarten him up ready for spring. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please leave a comment down below. I love reading and replying to your comments and subscribe to my channel. If you want to see how I made my vintage Easter cushion, then I'll leave a link down below. I'll see you next week with another DIY. So bye for now. Someday, I wrote some cross before.